हरे कृष्णा टू पुट द माइंड इन साइलेंट मोड वी नीड टू प्यूरिफाई इट समटाइम्स इफ यू आर फोकसिंग ऑन समथिंग वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड वी डोंट वांट टू बी डिस्टर्ब्ड बाय फोन्स और मैसेजेस कमिंग फ्रॉम एनीवन देन वी मे जस्ट पुट आवर फोन इन द साइलेंट मोड so just as our phone disturbs us externally our own mind disturbs us internally now how can we deal with this mind it sometimes you know this is this person did like this or that went wrong or you made a big mess of things and it just keeps blabbering 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 and in that way it makes a makes our life miserable so when this happens when our life is miserable because of the mind at that time it would be wonderful if we could somehow put the mind in silent mode now how can we do it actually the mind is activated by the desires within it which spring from the impressions that are there in it so if we could change the desires we could change the impressions then the mind would not agitate and suppose there are two people who live at one place and they work in another place in between there is a bar now one of them who is been alcoholic their mind will get agitated very much drink drink let's go and drink the person who is never drunk and is not considering drinking also their mind will not agitate at all because there is no impression there so there is no proposition coming from it also so because there is no impurity in the mind the mind with respect to that temptation at least is in a silent mode so similarly for us there are certain temptations which will not agitate us at all because we are pure or because we have not the corresponding impurity but there are others which may currently trouble us so we need to purify the mind now purifying the mind isn't just about rejecting the impure desires it is more about cultivating the pure desires suppose we are working on something very important and we are absorbed in it and sometimes even if our phone blips or vibrates we may neglect it and still focus on the work because we are attracted to it we are the importance is registered in it about it is registered in it and we are activated by the desire to focus on it so similarly even if we can't put the mind on silent mode even if So it will keep blipping. Try this. Try that. It will vibrate and blip. But we, if we can cultivate a strong, higher desire to do something important in our life, then that neglecting of the mind has to precede the silencing of the mind. In the Bhagavad Gita, Krishna says in the sixth chapter, "Prachan tamanasam ya enam." The mind becomes peaceful. Yoginam sukham uttamam, and the yogis experience supreme happiness. Upaiti shanti rajasam. The the mood of pa- you know, passion goes away. Brahma bhutam akalmasham, and Brahma bhutam akalmasham. We experience our spiritual nature. And how does this happen? Yunjanevam sagatmanam yogi vigat kalmasha. सुखेन ब्रह्म संस्पर्शम अत्यंतम सुखम अश्नुते 16 6.27 एंड 6.28 सो युंजन एवं सदात्मानम योगी विगत कल्मशः व्हेन द योगी बाय स्टडी प्रैक्टिस ऑफ योगा बिकम्स फ्री फ्रॉम इंप्यूरिटी एंड देन प्रशांत मनसम द माइंड बिकम्स प्योर सो इफ वी जस्ट कल्टीवेट द डिलीजेंट डिटरमिनेशन टू प्रैक्टिस भक्ति then that determination will take us forward out of illusion and by that determination first we'll be able to neglect the distractions and then we'll be able to eliminate the distractions so by concentration on the divine by concentration on the service of krishna and concentration on the remembrance of krishna we can neglect the impurities of the mind and ultimately we can transcend them thank you Hare Krishna